He's 5'11", 155 pounds, with a record of 73. Give it up for Brad Anderson! He's 5'10", 155 pounds, with a record of 6 and 1. Get it up for Travis Wright! Starting off, sizing each other up. Anderson lands a nice leg kick there to start things off. Anderson going for it again, right able to back away. Neither of these two fighters are known much for their stand-up skills. But Anderson trying that round kick right and lands the side kick, but can't land the second one. Anderson again going for that leg. Missed there, now right trying for the clinch. He's able to He's got it. And Anderson going to take him to the ground full guard right now. Travis Wright trying to move him up against the cage. Anderson keeping that full guard nice and tight. Travis Wright trying to sprawl, get moved at least a half guard. But Anderson's going to grab that leg. Now looks like he's trying for an arm bar. Wrenches the arm but can't lock it in. And Wright's able to escape there and now moves into side control. And Anderson gets at least a half guard. Wright trying to pass. Tries for a blow to the head. He's got the pass. Now he's in side control. Anderson fending off those left hands. Anderson again looking for another arm bar. Cannot lock it in. Wright's in a pretty good position right now to block it. And as a strike and pass. And it's back to full guard. Anderson keeping a hold of that arm. But now Wright's going to use it against him. He's got a heel hook now. Now Anderson's just trying to play some defense and keep that leg from bending to the side. Right, unable to lock. Ooh, looks like he's got it. And Anderson able to straighten it out. Had a little bit of space, and now he's looks like he's going to be able to get out of it. He's got the leg bent. Looks like he's going to pull it through, and he does. Right, able to grapple the stomach, but Anderson's got a hold of that leg. He's not going to let Travis stand up. Travis Wright is pretty suited for the ground with his jiu-jitsu background. Now he's going to grab a hold of Anderson's arm while Anderson has his leg. Looks like a defensive time. Anderson fighting through. Trying to get to half guard. What is Now Wright has full guard, now moves into rubber guard. He's trying to get that triangle choke. It doesn't look tight enough. Anderson has both his arms through there. But now Wright's got an arm bar. He's got to twist it. He's going to invert it. But I don't think he's got it locked in. He doesn't. 
And now he's able to get on top of Anderson and contort his body. Now he's going to try for the strike, but Anderson able to block it. That's just good defense there by Brad Anderson. Right, look, looks like an, an attempt at an arm bar, but a great block by Brad Anderson getting that leg in there before Wright can get it locked. Now Anderson able to able to get to half guard. And there goes the bell for the first round. Defensive battle, but it looks like Travis Wright may have had the advantage. Now here's round two in this title fight. Again, Anderson trying for that leg kick. Wright missed a huge haymaker there. Now he's got the underhooks, got, has Anderson against the cage, lost one underhook. Ooh, an attempt at a knee there by Anderson. Wright able to block it though. They're gonna try duking up, standing up. Another miss by Wright, but Anderson caught him with a right of his own. Good counter there. Now Anderson able to get him up against the cage. You got to be careful with Travis Wright, though. When you go to take him down, he can easily turn it into a guillotine quickly. Like that, Wright's got it, but Anderson... Good defense, moving to the side and preventing that left leg of Travis Wright's to move. That looks like Wright's going for the arm, Kimura maybe. And Anderson uses that arm against him with a couple strikes to the head. Now Wright in full guard. What we're seeing is we're seeing some pretty good defense from Brad Anderson, keeping Travis Wright from doing anything spectacular and keeping him on his back. Right now, Anderson's able to get a triangle choke of his own up top with the, with the arm and the neck. Anderson fights through and gets out of it, though. Trying for a rubber guard, Kimura can't get it. And we're back in the full guard. Anderson's still in pretty good control of Travis Wright right now. Wright tries for a sudden rubber guard, can't get it. Not much movement there. Looks like he wants it again, but just great defense by Brad Anderson. He's too high. So now Wright goes for the rubber guard again. He's got half. Can't get that right leg. Anderson's left arm is keeping that right leg down. And now Wright's got it. He's got a triangle, but it's too loose. Anderson fighting through, fending off those punches to the head. We're seeing a lot of resistance from Brad Anderson against those submission attempts from Travis Wright. And Anderson slides up, which makes the rubber guard impossible. A man is only so flexible. Now Wright looked like he was trying for an arm bar, couldn't get it. Tries to rubber guard, Anderson just shoves it away. Ends up getting a strike in there. You can see Wright is getting pretty tired with all these attempts. Anderson doing a great job keeping Travis Wright on his back. We're seeing a man can only do so much on his back. Anderson in half guard. Travis Wright doing what he can to reverse it. Nice strike there from Anderson. And we end the second round in a pretty good stalemate. It's just a nice defensive battle so far. Brad Anderson staying on top of Travis Wright. 
So here's round three, the deciding round. I'd give the first one to Wright and the second one to Anderson, so one of them needs to take control in round three here in this lightweight title fight. Ooh, nice combo there from Travis Wright. Faked the leg kick, went for the head, but Anderson, that's why you keep the left hand up. Swing and a miss there from Anderson about left. Anderson blocks that leg kick and lands one of his own. A nice right hand there by Anderson, lands to the job right. Now he's going to go ahead and clinch up against the cage. But again, Travis Wright going for that guillotine. He's got the left leg up. Can he get the right leg up? No, he can't, and he lost the grip. Brad Anderson sliding through before that guillotine could lock. Now we're back into full guard. Brad Anderson on top. This has been where, where this match has gone. The majority of the time, Anderson just on top, preventing Travis Wright from making any moves on the ground. Anderson having to work mainly from the rubber guard. But now he's having trouble even locking that. Just great defense by Brad Anderson. Anderson trying to land a couple of left, striking the pass. Now Wright's got one leg. He's got the other leg, but that left arm of Brad Anderson is in there. It's a pretty good triangle. I think Anderson's left arm is keeping it from tightening. But Wright definitely has him struggling. Anderson's fighting through it. He's almost out. Lost it, but I think it loosened. Right, trying to relock it. Now he's got a hold of the leg, and he's really got it in there now. Anderson's left hand is caught in there. He wrenches that. He could end up breaking his wrist. Travis Wright laying on the elbows. And Anderson's still fighting through, though. Gotta love the resistance from this kid. And he gets through. He got it through. We thought that was going to be the end there. But Brad Anderson able to slip through. So another submission attempt fails for Travis Wright. But Anderson's a little bloody after that. Getting down to the final seconds here in this round. And Travis Wright needs to make a move here. Goes for a rubber guard again. Throwing some elbows at the same time. He's got to do something. He's going for the other one. He's got it, but this one is not even close to being as tight. Anderson using some knees to the upper butt and the lower back. Try to loosen it. And maybe break him just a little bit. It looks like he's almost out of it. And he's able to get the right leg down. And now he can breathe again. Just great defense the entire match from Brad Anderson. This is going to be a very, very tough decision if we end up going all three. Right there, right trying for a rubber guard arm bar. And time expires. He could not land the submission, but he had plenty of attempts. Brad Anderson just keeping himself safe with some great defense sliding through. And really frustrating Travis Wright. Both men exhausted three full rounds of jujitsu, and that'll take any energy out of any man. This is going to be a tough one to score. Anderson raising his hands. He believes he's won, but regardless of who won, this was an outstanding match. Both men battling with all they could.
we'll get the results here in just a little bit from Dan Lewis. He's just going over the scorecards one last time. It looks like we got the result. Let me get up from all fighters once again, top, top fights. Your winner, by split decision, a new champ. Tyson Beach Fire, Lightwork Champ, Brad Henderson!